onto the pit or seed. Uh, this is just water I'm putting in, but not up to the very, 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 very edge. We want to we want to sneak up on that a little bit, and so there's a good puddle of water. Now it's um. Actually, put in some brown, um, just for fun on that part. And now what I can do is I can actually up to the edge of the seed. Uh, let's get a little more, a little more, a little more brown. But you have to have pigment in your brush. You can't do it with just water. If it's just water, it's not. It's not. Okay. So this is just getting my base, my base brown in there, because we have lots of values in there. But this is my base, base value, base color. Now there's my, my, my brown. Now as I look at it, there's also uh, perhaps some red in there in this area. So I'm going to get a red and I'm going to let that spread around. The lighter side is over here, but it, it does go just a little bit darker here on that side. So let's get a little more brown here. Whoa, that was a lot of brown side. And so we're going to take that out a little bit and let that mix together. Coloring of the brown in here like that. Now, if it's too much, if it's too much, um, I, I, I like this, and I, I blot it on a paper towel, and you can pull out if there's too much of a color. If it's we can pull that out. stuff right in through here and so this is kind of the white area and so I'm pulling out a lot of pigment there now I want have the dark side of the of the of the thing and I'm going to drop in some brown in through here like that and I think I was going to get a little bit a few dots of of red in here as well, like that. <coughs> and it's darker back over here, so I'm going to touch in some areas of, of dark brown here like that. Let it hit and dissolve. Now it's not really smooth as we look at that. There's, there's different sorts of things in there. Um, I'm wondering if there wasn't just a trace of, of some green. We get a little bit of a reflection up over here and maybe some down here. And then also, I think there's a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of black, and I want that on this side too. But I want it to mix together, so I'm just touching the, the tip of the brush in there like that. And, and then back over here, we have a little bit of um, some light stuff coming in here. Needed to re-wet that anyway. And so I pulled a little bit of that color out. Now it looks a little bit too black, and so I wanted to add some more brown. So I, this is more of that brown, just touching it where you want it to be. And we want it to blend and bleed and do that sort of stuff uh, with those. Um, And we want it to have a little bit of variety of of color in there. So here's the tip of the brush, just dropping in a little bit more of the brown color. It's 
starting to stain right there, so I'm gonna add just a little, I'm gonna come back and get a little bit of water. This is just water, because I wanted this, this to be a little bit more wet. And let's pull, now pull some of the white out. And now use gravity, because gravity is a great tool. I'm going to set it back down and let some of that come out there. And I'm just touching a few spots in here so that it will hit and start to spread, but not spread everywhere. I'm just wondering if I can come back in. There's a few little veins in there, so I'm just taking my my, my brush and, and rinsing it off and then just drawing in some little white marks. Like that. So we can kind of see the where the little veins are. You might have to go back over those a couple of times to make sure that it's doing what you want it to do. <coughs> and I'm kind of making these veins up as I go along. starting to dry just a little bit right there. Okay, and so now I can let the pit, the seed, start to dry. I have a variety of different colors in here, some reds and some browns, some blacks. I've created some, uh, a little bit of veining by, by pulling out the paint and using the tip of the brush. And so we have a, a good thing, and then we have generally coming up, the light side is over here, and then the dark side on the other ones. Just like the light is hitting this side, and this part of the hole is in shadow. And so that's the seed, or the pit, of the, um, of the avocado.